after correcting the procedures after teaching June and peel the proper way on how to manage this one we need to achieve somewhat like this balance size of this cherry tomato as much as possible they are the same size left and right guys Romaine look at this one there is no tip burn Hi guys, it's another fun learning adventure in a hydroponics and welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, I am here at Grace Forest Farm. Grace Forest Farm is somewhat organic. They have chilies here, habanero and other varieties of chilies. Last two months ago, we started this greenhouse. We have Kratki method here and today I'm going to update you about our Dutch bucket system and not only that we practice this bucket system and we copied from what the standard procedure of the bucket system in hydroponics and we adapted here for those of you guys who are asking if we have water pump here we don't install water pump but instead hand in hand we water it every day five to ten times a day so come on guys let's go inside so safety procedure guys this is only um, baking soda baking soda with water so easily you have to spray with your hand and your foot so that protection will shield <laughs> Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. Walk through the rain with me. Get soaked to the skin. Feel free. Shut the world out. So guys, we started, um, I think, 50 square meter greenhouse on that area. And then eventually, after a month, we just extended here. And I think this is 80 square meter greenhouse. So all Kratky method. And guess what? This is what I'm going to update you, the Dutch bucket system. So guys, as you can see, this is beautiful Aruru. We planted this one 60 days ago. So we just started to uh, trial and error here. But... Ah, ito. Diba? Ibig sabihin... Tumalbos na siya. Ayan. 
So the plant is very very healthy. If you look at the cherry tomato plant, the stem is very good. It's like a size of the pinky finger or index finger. Then look at this. Right, so we just have to uh, tweak a little bit. I suggested that look at this one. As you can observe, there is no moisture here, so they need to follow the proper irrigation or hand feeding procedure. After the assessment, I found out lacking like proper way of hand feeding. As you can see, very dry. There is no moisture. You can easily look into it and you can observe there is no moisture in it. So after that, I noticed also um, some of the fruit are lacking. So again, if you don't feed them properly, they will don't produce more fruit. So it's just uh, somewhat more or less there the problem is more in irrigation now using this cutter we need to prone a little bit and at least bend this one in somewhat 45 degrees because they are now reaching the uv plastic and aruru will last for eight months or ten months as long as you allow them to circulate or to grow horizontal way so First, you have to grow it vertical and then after how many months, you need to bend it forward so that they can grow it by horizontal way. So guys, it's now uh, somewhat prone. I am done guys proning and planting cherry tomato also in a greenhouse is very important that you have airflow underneath so that you can avoid uh, pest diseases and other uh, problems so the airflow will allow the plants grow better and faster Aside from proper irrigation, which is I noticed a while ago, very dry. Growing plants also is like person or people. If you don't eat, therefore your body will not uh, perform well for a day. So at the same time, in cherry tomato and other tomatoes, proper airflow underneath, proper irrigation, and proper ventilation so if you can achieve that therefore you will be successful in tomato particularly in hydroponics tomato So guys, after correcting the procedures, after teaching June and peel the proper way on how to manage this one, we need to achieve somewhat like this. 
but we need to achieve the balance size of this cherry tomato so as much as possible they are the same size left and right so this one we will be correcting this one again irrigation good airflow underneath pollination also you can pollinate like this you can use sticks early in the morning all right guys let's go to Kratky method bed type I know Tyron is very happy about this one because um, they planted lettuce before and they are they have some factors encounter like raining and they are planted it on the ground so now we have two varieties here this is green wave Batavia I think or this is about for harvest guys look at that there is no tip burn so we don't have foliar here we don't apply foliar just all hydroponics and look at this one guys there's no tip burn on it so that's our technique here very very simple the nutrients are all inside and mixed in the water <laughs> Guys, Romain, look at this one. There is no tip burn. Yes, no foliar, no spray, all hydroponically grown bed type Pratke method. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this episode and shout out to Tyrone and Karen. Please subscribe to their channel. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be able to notify every time we have new videos here only at JNG Backyard Leto. Bye guys.